This is a question about both standing waves and superposition of waves uh, in order to create maxima and minima. So I'm going to just sketch the diagram a little bit larger up here. So we've got M and L, and I'm going to put the screen uh, at the same distance away as the separation between M and L, just, just to start with here. And I'm going to make that distance equal to one wavelength. Okay, so this wave coming out from the loudspeaker to the screen will then be reflected back to set up a standing wave between the loudspeaker and the screen, assuming that the we have a length here of exactly one wavelength. Now coming out of the loudspeaker from the other side, we have the same wave again. So this standing wave is now going to continue and will constructively interfere with our uh, microphone in order to create a maxima at this point there where we've got a wavelength uh, of, of uh, we've got a separation of one wavelength. Let's take a look at the same situation now but we've moved everything along we've moved the screen along one half wavelength. So now we have the same wave again. This time we have a wave we have a separation there, apologies for the quality of the drawing, but a separation there of 1.5 wavelengths. The separation here is still the same as it was before. It's one wavelength. Now let's see, do we again get interference or a standing wave set up? And there it goes, constructively interfering again with our wave here. So we need a separation distance of 0 0.5 lambda or lambda over 2. That will give us, uh, that is the distance between successive ma maxima. Now, the next two questions are a little bit fiddly to think through, but what would, what would happen if we move the loudspeaker or the microphone? So let's start off with our original case again where we have the microphone the loudspeaker and the screen all equi equidistant apart with by one wavelength. Let's draw that wavelength there, the wavelength here, and the reflection back, showing that reflection constructively interfering. So that's our starting position again. Now this time let's move our loudspeaker along one wavelength. So the microphone stays in the same place. The loudspeaker has moved along one half wavelength. The screen is in the same place. So now there's the wave coming out of the loudspeaker on that side and from the other side we're going to have a wave that looks something like that. Let's see if we get the same constructed interference, and indeed we do. So the answer when the loudspeaker is moved is yes. Let's check the same situation for the microphone. So putting the loudspeaker back to where it was before, the screen back to its original position, and this time moving the microphone along to the right by one half wavelength. So let's draw our sine wave coming out of the loudspeaker on that side and one half wave coming out of the loudspeaker in the other direction and let's draw a reflection and we can see that yes again it does constructively interfere so we will get maxima and minima